Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for cancer. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every cancer and it will not resonate with every cancer cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh goodness. Cards are already acting crazy. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to all three in the description box. Cancer. What does my cancer collective need to know? What's the current situation for my cancer collective? What's the current situation? We have the High Priestess, the Hierophant, Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So we have Cancer energy coming through here. We have Water in general, Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Heavy Pisces here as well. King of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So I, I see Heavy Taurus energy here, possibly another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, somebody's intuition is telling them that your intuition could be telling you that I'm seeing here that somebody that maybe was once emotionally invested in a situation they're no longer invested in that or they're no longer emotionally invested yeah, it's like somebody is no longer happy in a situation or wanting, like. I'm seeing here that because somebody did not maybe take control of a situation, somebody walked away. Somebody could have been keeping it a secret that they, it's like some, their feelings a secret or they could have been keeping it a secret that they wanted a commitment with you. Um, somebody also could have been make, keep keeping it a secret that they were already in another commitment that could resonate for some of you, but somebody was like not taking a leap of faith. Somebody was not. And it's like, I see that they maybe missed an opportunity for happiness and fulfillment because of their own like indecision, stagnation, refusing to come out of no contact. Yeah. It's like they manifest it for this to come to an end. They manifest it for, they like broke their own heart. It's like you, somebody may have felt like they were never going to get what they deserved out of the, from this person, like that somebody was going to continue to bread from them. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, so let's see here. What does this mean for my cancer? What does this mean for my cancers? We have the queen of wands, the sun, death it's like you guys are realizing your you guys know you're worthy you're realizing that you deserve much better than this and so i see that you're maybe putting an end to this and focusing on healing being patient some of you guys could be dealing with a sagittarius it's like somebody's refusing to come in here and initiate things or apologize make thing, make amends here and it's like blocking this from moving forward so i feel like somebody is finally making the decision to walk away from this because somebody's refusing to come forward with an apology or with communication or with commitment somebody's like yeah i've waited long enough like you were very patient but it's like you're no longer being patient you're walking away now and putting an end to this because you know your worth So what's going on with this person? What's going on with this person that my Leos are dealing with? What's going on with this person? We have the Eight of Wands. They're confused about communicating with you or confused about taking action. Three of Swords and let's see, Five of Swords. This person, they're, they're afraid of, they're afraid of getting their heart broken. So it's like this person's own guardedness, their own fear of, getting their heart broken is going it's like they're going to end up breaking their own heart by being so guarded because 
then I'm seeing that that's what's keeping this person from offering something to you or communicating with you is that they're afraid of getting heartbroken, but it's about to make them completely lose an opportunity here. And which, which in turn, tune is going to lead, in turn is going to lead to them, you know, being heartbroken because I feel like this is something that this person actually wants, but they're not taking action towards it because they're scared. Mm, yeah. It's like, because it's like you guys did want this at some point, but now you're not wanting this anymore. The offer is no longer on the table. Or you guys are just not, you know, with this anymore. So what's well, going to cause them to miss an opportunity? You guys are walking away from this. You're, you're, you're pulling back your energy. You're, you're, you're un investing emotionally. What else do they need to know about this person? And about the situation. What do they need to know about this person? Give me four cards. Differences. So yeah, you guys can be very different. Opposites. There's maybe some things that you guys can't seem to come, you know, see eye to eye on here. And some this person has a huge ego. The timing is not right for you and this person. Regret, but they do have a lot of regrets. They regret, they, they regret, if they walked away from you, they regret that. And I feel like they also regret maybe not offering in offering something to you, offering you commitment and not taking action towards you. They're seeing things differently, but they're still battling with their ego. It's like this person's realizing that they could have had this happiness, long, like this long-term happiness, fulfillment, harmony, family, Kid, the whole all of it they're realizing that they could have had that with you but it's too late it's like you got you have already walked away from this for some of you you're already in another commitment or working on you know another relationship moved on from this person is what i'm feeling intuitively hmm tell you procrastination will bite you in the butt all right what tell me more about what's in this person's energies spiritual so yeah they feel like they, this person feels like they can feel you this person does have deep feelings for you and it's like they do have an awareness that this is a spiritual connection but they sabotage they self-sabotage and it's like they're self-sabotaging by being so guarded is what I'm seeing here. They have a fear of rejection or fear of getting there. And it's like they're 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 very guarded emotionally. But it's like something about this connection has made this person realize, you know, what they need to work on within themselves. And it's like it has inspired this person to really become a better person. But this this is somebody that's never satisfied too. It's like they had the whole package with you is what I'm getting here, but they didn't see it. They're always looking for the next, next best thing or they're, they're an idealist. They live in a fantasy land or a fantasy world. Grudges. This person could be, they're a little bit petty too. They're petty. They have anger problems for some of you and they're maybe holding on to some type of resentment. Why are they angry at you? It could be they're holding on to some type of anger and resentment from something from their past here. But it's like now this per person is very certain about how they feel about you, but it's too late here. Yeah, it's too late is what I keep getting here. It's too late. They're realizing way too late. A few more cards. What do they need to know? I left, I'm telling you, some of you guys have been with, or with somebody else or you're about to meet somebody new and they're going to see you with that person. They're going to know that you're in another relationship. And that's where, that's going to make this person stay away, you know, push them even further away from you. They're definitely not, I don't feel this person's definitely going to take any action towards you once they see, I don't know, let's see here. I left when I saw you with someone, passion, but yeah, they still have this, 
like they have a lot of passion for you still. Try something you've never done before. It's like now they want to take this leap of faith. Or maybe that's what they're they're seeing you with somebody else now and it's making them want to take this leap of faith towards you. I lie awake, lie awake thinking about you. Yeah, they can't sleep. They're thinking about you at night. Tell me something else. I want to be more than friends. Yeah. They could have friend zoned you. Didn't want to take things to the next level. I left before you could leave me. Yeah, this person has like abandonment issues or fears of getting their heart broken, fears of, you know, some people leaving them. Just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, a lot of passion here. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, they're missing the way that you make them feel. They're missing your energy because you pulled it back. They don't feel it anymore. They're feeling that void. But I just feel like, let's get one card. What's the free future of this? What's going to happen in the future? goodness guys oh, hold on <laughs> well this fell down guys they will call so you guys keep receiving a phone call from this person yeah they're gonna reach out it's because i feel like they're seeing you with somebody else and they're like oh crap i really did miss an opportunity here but spirit says you deserve better yeah you deserve better than this person free yourself from this person do not, you know, let this person come back, waver you or, you know, screw up this new situation that's coming in for you. There's someone better waiting just for you to overcome your fear of the unknown. So it's like spirit is also calling for you to take a leap of faith and focus more on this new situation versus this other situation that you're maybe more comfortable with. All right, guys, I can't even tell you fear of loss. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown any time now this person does not want to lose you to somebody else so that's what's going to fuel them, fuel them to come in all right they're gonna take they're gonna call they're gonna reach out to you in some way all right old-fashioned so this is what spirit has for you guys it says babe the old school love wins don't try to rush the process that's what i'm saying i see you guys close walking away from this for good or finally closing out that cycle with this person and just being patient not rushing things not you know trying to you know just kind of go on with the flow don't try to rush the process it takes time to build build a real solid and healthy relationship give him time so i feel like this is that new person or give her time i feel like you're going to be um meeting somebody new and you're going to be like building like a very solid foundation with the, that person Taking the time to really build things, you know, from the ground, you know, stable. Build something stable with this new person. We have hot gossip. It's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only have negative things to say when they know nothing about you. So you can have some people talking crap about you that don't even know you. Hmm, let's not do anything. Let's just have to do anything. Stay, don't let these people, don't let anybody waver you. Or, you know, yeah, don't let anybody shake you. Take a step back and be fully conscious in the present moment to align your soul to your true self and help you control your emotions. Have a drink. Yeah, somebody's lurking. Somebody's watching. Something is lurking and it doesn't look good. Remember, there are blessings in life that are disguised and difficulties. Let it make you better. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you this week. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I am not offering personal readings, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.